Tokyo University's Tarocha Oiwa Laboratory is doing experimental research on physics and hardware for quantum information processing, which utilizes electron transport, spin correlation, and spin in low-dimensional electron systems. The laboratory is looking at electron systems in one and zero dimensions, which can be achieved through semiconductor microfabrication. The researchers study the fundamental physics of many-body effects in artificial atoms and molecules, spin phenomena in strong magnetic fields, the effects of conduction phenomena on electron and nuclear spin, electronic properties in one-dimensional tomonaga lutinga liquids, and spin quantum computing. In addition, the lab is developing a method of observing state density directly using a surface-sensitive scanning probe. あの、半導体中の中にある電子っていう最も基本的な、あの、多分もう when electrons are injected one by one into artificial atoms, they occupy orbits due to the quantum confinement effect and take on energy levels like those in real atoms. Making artificial atoms requires extremely precise control, and worldwide, the first person to achieve this was Professor Tarucha. <laughs> これを利用してもっとたくさんのことがわからないかとか、これを使ってうまく新しいあの技術をやできないかとかいう話をあのここ Quantum computing uses quantum bits, which can have states that are both 0 and 1 through quantum mechanical superposition. If there are n quantum bits, then 2 to the power n states can be computed simultaneously. In theory, this would enable computers to do in just a few hours calculations that today's fastest supercomputer can't do even in several thousand years. で、ここまで持っていくためにはおそらく多分さっきのスケールで言うと1万このビットだとか10万このビットだとかっていうのが必要になるんですね。でもその1万個とか10万個をすぐに作るわけにはいかないので、そこまで到達できる あの、単位をうまく拡張していくという手順が必要なんです。で、私たちがやっているのが、あの、今1個とか2個とか、ま、私たちってま、世界でみんながやっているのが1個とか2個とかっていうビットが必要で、多分ここ数年にあの、5